screen. I'll talk to you after about that. Uh, in the meantime, let's take a look at the wider world of Assassin's Creed. Well, the wider world of Assassin's Creed there. And look, we've had a lot of surprises today. I think that's fair to say. But in the grand tradition of surprises, Mac, I think you might have saved the biggest one for last. Well, Danny, that's right. Believe it or not, I've got more things to show to you. So mm -hmm. how about we take a leap of faith into the future together? Let's take a look. Dime que el uno para PlayStation 5, eh? Por favor. Well, I think that's what you call big news, isn't it? I mean, there's a lot of stuff in there that I think, mm -hmm. from your point of view, certainly the community, the fans have been asking for for a long time. So, Mac, tell us more. Well, this is codenamed Red, our next premium flagship title and the future of our open world RPG games on Assassin's Creed. It is being developed by Ubisoft Quebec, the studio behind Assassin's Creed Odyssey, under the uh, creative direction of Jonathan Dumont. It will let players explore one of their most awaited settings ever on the franchise, feudal Japan, and they'll live a very powerful shinobi fantasy. I mean, people have been waiting for this for a long time, haven't they? Yes, they have. Well, they certainly have, and now you've brought it to them. It's amazing. Which is good, <laughs> and you're slightly cruel in that you're teasing me with it. I very much want that. You mentioned um, some of the other studios. Uh, what's Montreal up to right now? Well, we have our veteran team behind Assassin's Creed Valhalla in Montreal, the birthplace of uh, Assassin's Creed, yeah. who's been hard at work on a new flagship title as well. It is being led by uh, creative director Clint Hawking, it is a very different type of Assassin's Creed game. And I believe you may have brought us something that we can watch now. Yes, here it is. Well, the surprises just keep on coming. What can you tell us about this project? Well, this is codenamed Hexe, and I can't wait for our fans to tear apart that trailer and find out all its secrets. Yeah, absolutely, and work out the code name. You guys have always got code names for stuff. There was, um, was it a year ago, there was codename Infinity. Where are we with that? Well, that's a great question, Danny, and I'm happy to give you a little bit more about Project Infinity uh, today. Infinity is not a game per se. It's going to be the single entry point for our fans into the Assassin's Creed franchise into the future. So are you saying that players will be able to explore their very own animus, kind of like a time machine? Exactly, Alice. Infinity is going to be a hub that will unite all our different experiences and our players together in meaningful ways. So, obviously that begs the question if you're connecting players and there's more than one player a lot of people will be thinking are we talking multiplayer well danny it seems we can't hide anything from you you can't so <laughs> we're actually investigating how uh, we will bring back standalone multiplayer experiences into the assassin's creed universe all connected to the infinity hub 
Well, it sounds extraordinary. You must have a nap at some point because you've all been very, very busy. So our thanks, Mac. Um, some major new developments there, and I'm sure everyone at home can't wait to get involved. Um, thank you for joining us today and sharing all this incredibly exciting news. Well, thank you, Danny. Thank you, Alice. It's been a pleasure to be here and to be finally able to share all these great things that we have coming for our fans. So, to sum up, there are a lot of exciting things to look forward to. Let's remind ourselves of everything you can expect from now onwards. This year, we will see the release of the last chapter to Eivor's story in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Then in 2023, we'll see the release of the next big title, Assassin's Creed Mirage, set in Baghdad and following the story of Basim from Street Thief to Master Assassin. Then it's time for the long-awaited setting of Feudal Japan with Assassin's Ooh. Creed codename Red. And as Mac announced, there will also be a very different type of experience with Assassin's Creed, codename Hexe. And in the coming years, we'll see the launch of the new platform, Assassin's Creed Infinity, connecting players to the games in a whole new way. But that's not all. We'll also see the launch of our first open world game for mobile with Assassin's Creed, codename Jade. And of course, the release of our live action series in partnership with Netflix. So, loads to come. But that, my friends, I'm afraid, is all we have time for today in this very special Assassin's Creed anniversary showcase. Now, before I get too comfortable in our hideout and end up slipping into my Ezio cosplay as normal, I just want to thank everyone for joining us today and making this first ever showcase so special. Plus, of course, a big thank you to our guests. And I shouldn't do this, Alice, but you know, in the spirit of wrapping up, <laughs> what's the one thing you're most looking forward to? That's a very tricky question. We've seen so many amazing things. 